The CEO of the UK's largest plumbing firm has sacked staff who refused to return to work after being furloughed. 30 members out of the 450 working at Pimlico Plumbers were fired or took voluntary redundancy after they declined to come back to work on Friday. Are bosses right to fire people for not coming back to work or should it be an individual's choice? Um, well, I think as long as um, the individuals have had a chance to work with the company and express their fears and given an opportunity to make some compromises, um, you know, that, that they should have that opportunity before the company decide to dismiss them. I don't think you're right to fire people at the moment. People um, have a lot of fears, so when people have these fears about going back to work, as well as possibly a lot of reasons due to family members or their own health, then there has to be a lot more understanding. Obviously, as a company, it's difficult. You've got to get working again, got to start making money, otherwise the business will suffer. But surely a firm of that size should be able to support their workers through these times. Uh, I think, obviously, it, uh, there'll be individual ca reasons for each case. However, as a general rule, I think, you know, you can't expect to get, keep getting paid for not working. My personal opinion, no, um, you know, COVID-19, there is another peak as well, coming, as they say, second peak. So I don't think it's really ideal f uh, to fire somebody just for having a personal choice of not coming to work for their own safety. Personally, you have to know about the individual cases. So as a general rule, you can't sack people just because they refuse to turn to work. I don't agree with that. Um, you need to look at their individual situations, mental health issues, all of them things. So it's, it's, it's too general, I think, personally, just to say yes or no to it, because you'd have to look at individual cases.